Welcome back to the Goalie Be a Pro, everybody. Today's a big one because, as you can see, we are first in the league. Actually, maybe you can't because the comments might be covering it now. I just kind of thought about that. But anyway, I'll let you know. We are first in the league. We're pushing for the President's Trophy. Our team, quite solid. So hopefully we can actually go get it done and win that trophy. Although winning a President's Trophy would be cool, it doesn't matter that much, let's be real. I do really want to win the Stanley Cup over all else. President's Trophy is just like a consolation prize almost. If you look at our stats real quick, currently we do actually have three times the amount of wins compared to our regulation losses. And we only have three overtime losses as well, which isn't a lot. So overall we have a record of 36 and 15, 913 save percentage, 282 GAA. We're doing mighty fine. Our first line's really good. We have Goudreau, Zegris, and Bjorkstrom and Zegris has been having an insane year, so hopefully he can keep that up. The second line is also very good. Marchenko just finds a way to put the puck in the back of the net. I don't know how he does it, but he does. Scott Sterling at 96 overall now. So I don't know what games we're going to play. It doesn't really matter that much, but we are going to play three games and try to close out this season. First in the NHL, I will go to the stats once more just to show you where we currently are. We sit at 86 points and we only have 62 games played as well. So the Dallas Stars have 64 games played and are two points behind us. Philly, one more game than us and four points behind. So we are sitting quite nice. Tampa Bay not having a good season. This should be a win, but you never really know with this simulation engine. So let's get it started, see what happens. Maybe we'll jump into this one. That is an unbelievable start. Okay, okay. Columbus is just too good. Wow, another one. Zucker, three nothing. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna do this and five one. No point jumping into this game. It is a dominant victory for the Jackets that are blue. And now we have the Flow Ride of Panthers, who are 12th in the league. Let's not play this one, actually, because we aren't even in. It must be a back-to-back, -back, and we have Tampa again. Wow, we're just staying in Florida, eh? Let's see how we do this time. Come on, Columbus. We can take another dominant victory. And there it is. Power play goal, and we are up 1-0. To be fair to Tampa, they do have a lot of shots going on here, so they're definitely trying, not being completely run over. But I mean, I think, yeah, Columbus is just a better squad. Oh, Miles Wood. All right. Seeing a little bit of fight here in Tampa. And I didn't really pay attention. So I have no idea if we won that game in Florida or not. I don't know why. I just saw that we weren't in and basically clocked out. Johnny scores on Montembeau. If it's 3-1, yeah, I'll just sim the whole period. And it is a 5-1 victory. Our lineup status is injured. Well, that's news to me. Can't be that injured. They're throwing us in against the Montreal Canadiens right here. So clearly we're chilling. That's out of date. Cam York opens the scoring. I don't know. Like, we're a good team. But are we really this good? We haven't really been... Holy. And another one. From Nino. York scores again. Yeah, let's just... I'm gonna try to find a game here against a good team. Like one that's second. Or third, fourth. Anything top 10. Washington's 25th, so no, simulate it. We have 45 wins at the moment, and... Oh, it's gonna do this. Okay, first period is 1-0. Whoa! All right, didn't see that coming. We can jump into this one. Tie game against a team that isn't really having a great season in Washington. And again, I feel like we have just been beating up on teams that aren't great recently. But they're giving us a run for our money here, so... We could lose this, and they took a penalty. Two minutes for slashing. All right. Let's go. Let's score, and then win this one. Win that draw, Trevor. Nope, but it's okay, because he's not going to get it down the ice anyway. They never do. Trying to dump the puck out right now is genuinely impossible. And did they just take another one? Two minutes for slashing again. You can't do that, email. If we do not score on a five-on-three, then catch me letting goals in because we do not deserve to win great passing but Dreger read it like a book apparently he was sliding perfectly with the puck it's a quality goaltender right there it has only been two and a half minutes but I'm starting to think I'm not going to get a whole lot of shots here in this period I really think Chris has just been actually no because they had a lot of shots coming into this period so it's not like we've been dominating and just couldn't score that was weird. And uh, no way, Trevor. I didn't know that was a thing. He just like put his hands on his head. Like, are you kidding me? That's really cool. Ready? Doesn't score. 
All right, yeah, that's fine. I didn't want to like prove a point or anything. Why do I just have this really bad feeling that their first shot's gonna go in? I don't know why, but like my spidey senses are tingling here. I just feel like that's normally the way. Like if you go into a game and they're getting no chances, the first one they get is gonna be insane. And there you go. I mean, I called it. I literally called it. You know what would have been really sick if our team scored on the five on three? Just food for thought right there. And are you gonna go for that zero angle shot? No, you're not. Yes, you are. Nope. Passes it. Another pass. Had no clue where that went. Here we go, Johnny. Here we not go, Johnny. Right back the other way comes Washington. Yeah, it's probably gonna go to them. No, that was a good pass. Yeah, you're right, thank you. Glove save, another save on the rebound and pass it out because that's what Scott does. We don't hold pucks around here. We get rid of them, we keep the clock going. Okay, that's not ideal. That's really not ideal. What a pass by Johnny and a shot is saved by Christopher once again. Both those refs were just standing side by side. It's like they were just having a little chitty chat while the game's going on. Can't be doing that. Kind of threw me off actually. I wasn't expecting him to go that side. And that reminded me of this. Why do I literally forget that's a thing all the time? So. That's not a penalty. Okay. Got away with one there. But yeah, I feel like I have asked this already, but I recently inquired about how the tethering turns itself back on every single time you restart the game. However, now I would like to pose the question to my fellow goaltenders out there. Do you use the prediction system or not? Do you just play the game old school way? Or do you actually try to predict where they're going to shoot? And does it work? Is it effective if you do use it? Is it one of those things where you might as well use it because it doesn't affect the save percentage if you are wrong? Or, okay, it's back to a one goal game. Still 641 to go as well. They tried it again. They really did try it again. This time it's from a little bit further out though. So the reaction time of Scott was able to keep up with that attempt. Where was our team there to keep that puck in the zone? Where? Anyway, before I got sidetracked, I don't know if I ever finished my thoughts, so I'm going to now. Is it one of those things that you might as well use it because if you predict wrong, it doesn't change anything. You still make the save. But if you get it right, then you have a better chance at saving it. Or does it screw you up if you're wrong? You know, I might have already said that. I also do not want a repeat of last video where, what a save. The team was telling me to come to the bench and I was too busy focusing on this camera. And as soon as the caps were coming down, I noticed it. Or no, it wasn't the caps, but whoever it was. And then I really got to stop sliding. It's bad, like real bad. And we're getting lit up in our first game of the video to boot. So I'm really going to have to try and recollect myself here. And hopefully we can come out with a stellar performance in the second one. But it's gonna be tough. Mental warfare. All right, I was paying attention this time. No, no. Nice hit. Open ice and everything. Bjorkstrand. There's a tank out there and they just took a penalty. If we get one quick, it's still very unlikely, but anything could happen. It would be so nice if I could actually see what was going on and didn't have to have this camera view of the bench. What a save. Slavin was charging the net there, received a pass, and that's going to do it. All right, game over. It was a good effort, but not from Scott, that's for sure. Everybody else, I feel like you did fine. Oof, they only had 32 shots as well. We had 36 and two goals, so Chris had an unbelievable game. And Sterling had one to be forgotten real quick. We play Washington again, back-to-back -back games here against a divisional team that, you know, isn't doing so well. I'm not going to jump into this one even if it's close because I don't want to just play the same team over and over. But can we get revenge? Not looking good. Oh yeah, what a third period. Things you love to see? That. Here we go. Divisional opponent and they are fourth in the league. We are first. This could be a matchup. Come on, Columbus. New Jersey breaks the ice. Cody Glass. I could have, you know, that could have been something else. Could have said he broke the glass, but... 
Nope, he scores the first goal and it is one nothing after one. Let's see if Columbus can get it back here in the second. No, because Hughes is going to give New Jersey the insurance marker power play for Columbus and we can't score. We got to work on that power play evidently because we didn't score on a five on three. Didn't score there. Something's got to give. Two nothing... Yeah, you know what? Let's go for it. Maybe we could pull off an absolute melter in the third here. So New Jersey has Leon Dreisaitl. That's pretty crazy. I'm definitely losing track of where players are and most likely already knew that he was there at some point. We can get a goal quick here. That would be very optimal because I would shift the momentum to start the third and we would only be down by one. And you know what? I honestly just want a redemption game here. So even if we don't end up winning, I just want to play well. So that the third and final game, we're going in with some confidence. Nice try. Brat. Oh, he gets it back. There's a little give and go. And I'll send that to you. Yeah, you're hustling back. Lindstrom. I truthfully don't even remember seeing them in the lineup. But you know what? From that effort that you just put forth, you were in a good spot in my books. What a save by Logan Thompson. I'm assuming that's who it is. But a little baseball action. And he was still there for it. Low shot goes for the rebound. But Shillington in front for it. Their defense have it on lock at the moment. Ooh. How'd you like that one, Jack? <laughs> that stick was giving him a real hard time. Good pass. Great shot. The rebound again. Their defense locking it down. Shillington is on fire at the moment. Just an easy save right there. You know? That one wasn't easy. But the save was made regardless. Cody Glass trying to get another one. That will be stopped on the short side there, though. Is that like a time I should have hugged the post? Or was I safe to be where I was? I don't know. Horrible positioning. Thankfully, he just happened to shoot where I was. Back door. Back door. I mean, a little bit selfish. Can't lie. But I like the pressure that we're putting on right now. This is good, at least. Back to the point. D to D. Down low. I swear their defender just saved that. And what happened there? I feel like one of my main problems is that I'm using this right stick slide too much. I need to just like do regular butterfly slides. Oh my, what a goal. That was disgusting. Trevor cuts the lead down to one. How much time do we have left? I didn't really check. Two and a half minutes. All right. It is definitely possible. I'm likely going to get pulled here soon. So I got to be on the lookout. Oof. Another big hit. And I was too busy looking at the hit. Wasn't paying attention to Johnson, who actually almost scored there. They haven't taken us out yet. Tried to pass it over to Drysidle. What is going on here? Get rid of it. Not like that. Don't get rid of it like that. More like that. You know, they're doing a better job at doing our job. This could be it. 15 seconds. I don't think they're calling me to the bench. So we might as well just watch and see how this plays out. Eight seconds. No, we're not going to do it. All right. Well, it was a valiant effort. I might get one more save here. Or... Oh, my! I had zero business making that save. Like, there is no reason I should have saved that. Look at this. If I showed you this and said, will I save the puck? The answer is 99% no. But for some reason, he shot it towards the center of the net. I appreciate that. 28 shots. We had 33 and only one goal. What is with these goalies on the other teams playing out of their mind? Two straight L's for Scott. Let's look at the calendar. I'm curious here to see how many games we have left. And I might just sim to the last week, see if we still have a chance. Yeah, I'll simulate to here. Nice. 2-1 win over the Hurricanes. Now we have... Uh, oh, yo, James, how about you don't talk when I'm talking? Okay, hold on. I'll get straight to the point. We're not making the playoffs and I need your help securing a spot. Are you insane? 
We are quite literally first in the NHL at the moment. I feel like our coach should be evaluated because clearly something is not clicking upstairs. We're back on a heater here. I should just simulate the whole season, apparently. Definitely not the year of the brand, so I said that at some point and clearly have not held true to my word. The franchise, trophy earned. Is that, did we secure the president's trophy already or something? Oh, we probably did. But watch out because we might not make the playoffs. We have 53 wins right now. That's outrageous. The first and last place team. Let's see how this goes. I predict not in our favor. But maybe it will. You know, maybe things will go according to the plan. Columbus will come out on top. Currently, we are being outshot by Toronto. And currently, we are not being outscored by Toronto. I take it back. Kachuk got the go-ahead goal for Toronto first of the game. But then Cam York struck back. And he was our deadline pickup, no? Or he was there before and I just never noticed him. Apparently, I'm not very good at knowing the players on the team. Shorthanded goal. Yikes. And Kempe gets a buzzer beater with 19 seconds left. You know what? I want this game. I want to go in for a confidence boost. And now that I say that, I am not too sure how this third period is going to go. All right, let's just try to play confident and try to play calm and collected. None of this jumping around, sliding everywhere, fish out of water crap. All right, let's just compose and play goaltender. I know I can do it. I've done it before, but I just get into random... Hold on, I'm focusing. I am focusing. That was a close one. Point shot. Yeah, I get into like random slumps where I just forget how to play goaltender. And then I'll come back out of it and start actually playing goaltender again. <laughs> and start doing stuff like that. Horrible decision. They have Vasilevsky. How'd they manage that? They also have Brady Kachuk. It's like a whole new team. Composure. Composure. Move smart. Not quick. I really do want to try making a save like this, though, even if it's forced, which I feel like is going to be really tough, but might be able to pull one off in some situation. Staying composed. That's how you do it. That's how you get it done. Oh, yeah? Nope. And we're taking a penalty. Good stuff. All right, that just means more shots for me. Time for me to absolutely steal this power play from Toronto. Their winger is left-handed there. So if he wins this draw back to the defenseman, I know exactly what's going to happen. But it's not going to happen because we had a clean win. Love the physicality. You know, we're up and it doesn't matter. We're still not showing any mercy. You're going to get caught in the trolley tracks. And we almost scored a short-handed goal. Brady's even getting dropped, and he's not, you know, getting all up in the guy's face after that. Not realistic at all. He would 100% turn around and sucker that guy. Steer that one aside. York, who has, for some reason, been a goal-scoring machine. Ah, you thought, you really did think, but guess who had the patience? Scott Sterling. Even I didn't see that coming. I thought for sure one of those head fakes, you know, one of the 82 of them was going to get me. But nope. Stayed put like a statue. We really haven't got a lot of chances in this third period. It has been all Toronto, honestly. I'm just trying to think. We had that one really pathetic attempt. There's probably some I'm forgetting about, but definitely the majority of the chances have belonged to TML. I knew it. Knew he was going for that pass. Great job being there, David. Brady, come on now. Who do you think I am? It definitely seems like there's going to be numerous awards for players and the team of Columbus this year. But again, none of that really matters too much. I want to win the Stanley Cup. And if we do get the President's Trophy, which by the looks of it, I feel like we had it locked down. This could be the year. Or we could have the President's Trophy curse and get swept in the first round. What a risky pass that was. Check the game notes. 27 shots, one goal against. How you doing? With three games left of the season, let's just simulate it and see what happens. With just zero games left in the regular season, you're in the running for the Fesno Trophy. How you feel? 
Wow, what a statement. All right, I think I got it now. The reason this isn't the year of the brand is because to get the brand up, I feel like you got to make promises and sort of, you know, act like a complete piece of crap, which I'm not going to do because then I have to make promises. Well, Scott, you've proven yourself out there. Not much seems to get by you. You're going to stay out there twice in a row. Wow, that's awesome. Anyway, do I... Oh, I have to do a storyline thing. It's the exact same, so don't matter. We lost the final two games of the season and they weren't great either. 6-2 and 4-1 and we have the Rangers in round number one. Let me guess. You got us this far. Yeah, no doubt. I'm 96 overall. Zip it, James. Two new abilities unlocked. We just got to get the slots to actually put them in. I'm definitely taking out all or nothing because that is just a poke check and I do flank poke check, but I don't regular poke check that often, although I probably should. Instincts and contortionist. I feel like we'll go with contortionist. We have 4.6 million. I'm trying to find out what we can get for X Factor points. If we buy the electric car, it gets us two. So that would get us halfway there. Stock market for only 22 days. Sure, why not? Financial advisor would have been sick, but didn't see that. So it's not sick right now. I mean, it can be in the future still. We also have two trade points. I guess that might have been a part of what I was just doing. And I can't buy any dialogue with it. So should I just go vision? That's currently 99. So I'm not going to do that. Aggressiveness, speed. Yeah, let's go for speed. And the Blue Jackets did in fact get it done with 114 points, 55 wins. We are your President's Trophy winners. Top 16 teams made the playoffs. So that's always a good thing to see as well. Toronto kind of brought it back. I remember they were really bad before and they only finished 11 points behind Pittsburgh. So... It's still a historically bad year, but I mean, it could have been worse. Trevor finished over point a game, 88, and nearly had 40 goals. Goudreau played 73 games, so he was over point a game as well. Marchenko, 29 tucks, 66 points. Both goaltenders did outstanding, 916 for Scott, 918 for Dylan, and then right around the 270 range for both goalies. We did have the most wins with 47. Jake Yo is right there, but we managed to get five more so pretty convincing but we did also play five more games so i'm not gonna say that ottinger wouldn't have won all five of those but point a game from kale mccarr who is currently injured and he was a zero i feel like he was like a dash 31 or something wasn't he maybe i'm thinking of someone else but shay theodore 75 points a nice amount from Miro and Quinn. And Connor McDavid puts up 104, 51 goals in 77 games played. Looks like he might actually have the Rocket Richard. Let's check that out. Yes, he does. Betts and Matthews both had 50. Who fought the most though? Gotta know that. Tanner. Yup. And then McEwen right up there. Ruslan. 16 fights and we have Magnus Nasland. Well, this is the playoff tree. The first part of this season was successful. We got the presidents, but now we got to win the trophy that really matters. And that is the Stanley Cup. And this is our final season with Columbus. So it is essentially do or die this year. Otherwise, we're going to try it out with another team. And that might be it for Scott. As always, I appreciate you guys. If you could leave a like, that'd be greatly appreciated. And I will see you soon.